So the quilt on my right is called The Space Between Heartbeats, and the quilt on my left is called A Year of Moments. And both of these pieces are from uh, a current series that I'm working on, which is sort of divide, um, diving into thinking about the work that I was doing in college. So I'm trained as a fine artist. I went to art school and I was studying heavily in painting but also in photography. And at a time then, um, when I was in a school show, I actually put two quilts into my exhibits and my teachers kind of pulled me aside and told me that those two quilted pieces didn't belong in my art school education. So I've been pondering that a lot in my, in my current work and thinking about, well, what would have happened had I been exposed more to textile work then in my 20s as, as opposed to coming upon it later in life. So I've been really kind of focusing on the work that I do is based on a traditional layout of a quilt, um, but I want to be able to tell my story in a different way, a more modern way. So you will still see the heavily uh, traditional background of my work, um, and then going ahead and, and adding new elements. So when I'm talking about um, exploring my process about what I was doing in college, since I was doing a lot of photography, I've been thinking about, well, what would have happened had I incorporated my photography and my painting and my textiles at that time, and that's kind of where I've been working in this new series recently. So using photography, uh, photographs of my hands, working with fi fiber on the wall is also the way that I, uh, I feel like I, I make quilts the way that I paint. So if I have a canvas and I'm putting paint on the canvas, I have a design wall and I'm putting fabric on the design wall. I can move the paint around, I can move the fabric around. So I, I work very much the same way as I do when I'm painting as when I'm making a quilt. So this quilt in particular, um, called The Space Between Heartbeats, um, was really thinking about process and that tactile nature of, of working with a fabric and how I can get very much like tunnel vision when I'm working on that and so much so that sometimes it's so quiet that I can hear my heartbeat. So that's what this quilt was about. It was really about thinking about that process and, and you know, what I'm thinking about is the traditional and the modern aspect and combining all of those elements. And then the quilt on my left, uh, Year of Moments, uh, was the first one in this series, first or second one in the series. I had two going on at the same time. This was sort of an accumulation of a year when my daughter was graduating from high school and thinking about all of those, all the travel and, and the life of my child growing up and getting closer to 50 at that time and thinking about what does that mean. Um, so using um, photography and images and um, experiences that had happened during that time, I kind of put everything together in that way. So you know, the photos are taken, I'm putting them into the computer, I'm digitally manipulating them, I'm changing them, I'm printing them, but I'm also ap um, adding traditional methods. So there's a lot of applique, uh, there's a lot of traditional piecing, um, this is not all one panel, there's parts that are cut and spliced and sewn together, but anything that can uh, combine as many elements of as traditional quilting to go with modern quilting, to go with art quilting, and trying to bring all of that together to live nicely together in one piece of art.